adventure of a lifetime um, as we start to wind our way down the Queensland coast. Um, that we whole find some absolute must-see spots that don't cost a cent to visit and you probably won't beautiful. see anywhere else. If you haven't yeah, seen our trip from the beginning, to do, please so jump on board and join us. If you're, you're enjoying our content, so please comment, like and hit that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. Not really sure what our plans are for the day, so yeah on the ride with us we have no idea where we're heading and staying tonight we're just gonna wing it as usual um so yeah we'll see how the day turns out we just had a little stop in cairns just to get some lunch and we've changed our plans again <laughs> we're gonna spend the night up in atherton um because we feel like when we were when we were up there during the waterfalls before, we didn't get to see Atherton. So we're going to go back up there and have a bit of a look, spend the night there and maybe check out some of the sites. And then tomorrow, come back out this way and head down the coast on the highway. I think I'm just looking because there's always stuff going on on these roads here. We can't believe it. Um, now they're just wetting the roads just because. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, Atherton, we, we should see some good scenery going up. I think this is that windy road, isn't it? No. Oh, it's not. Well, I'm not sure it will be, but it's not the one we were on before. Oh, right, okay. All right, so we've got some gorgeous scenery around us at the moment. We are in the Dambula. State Forest. First point of interest is the Cathedral Fig Tree. We almost drove straight past it. We're the only person, only people around at the moment. So we're just going to check out the information board, find out where it all is. Hmm. Does it say where the hmm? how far you have to walk to get to it? Or is it just there? Oh, 100 oh. miles. 100 miles. <laughs> All right, so um, Lake Tinaru is the lake that is a big part of this national park. Um, it's the Danbula State Forest or National Park. So there's a few campgrounds in here. Um, we were going to stay, but we thought, oh, it's Friday. And it's, apparently it's a very, very popular local spot um, on weekends. And it's going Friday night tonight. So we decided that we wouldn't stay here. Um, it's a popular place for boating and all that sort of thing and based on previous experiences at these types of places we've decided yeah. mm, it, we would if it wasn't a weekend. Well the reviews are very nice during the week. Yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, different story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Might get to see a cassowary <laughs> or not. <laughs> Not today. No chance of seeing a fig tree. Yeah. Wowzers. Oh my god. Look at, Look at the basket ferns fern at the top. <gasps> Jesus. It's huge. I did not expect this. I just expected a big tree. This is insane. Wowie. I can't calm down. I've not seen anything like this in my life. It is mammoth. Can you walk around it, do you reckon? Oh yeah, you can, there's a boardwalk. Flip, this is crazy. I'll get you some more information about it in a little while. I can't even get it all in the camera. Where's the actual trunk? The trunk. Parts, what are these things? Roots? I don't know. I have no idea. It is crazy. I'm guessing the it's a fig. Are so mm. are these, these are the roots of the fig. The fig began as a seed just about the size of a grain of rice. Its real age is unknown, but it's believed that it could be up to 500 years old. 
The crown of the tree extends over 2,000 square metres, that's the size of two Olympic sized pools. It's estimated that the full load of leaves carried by this tree would be about 1,000 kilograms. It has 10 different types of vines living on the trunk and branches and the fig has a 72 metre girth. That's the equivalent of 40 people linking hands around it. A couple of historical chimneys from bygone years. Um, these are the remains of um, a cottage that was built uh, in no early 1920s, something to do with the um, sawmill that was located not too far from here. This is all that's left of the homes. It's a bit of a historical place and a day use area. So yeah, it's got some nice um, vegetation growing in the chimneys now anyway. Probably good bird's nests. It's pretty cool. We're at the Tinaru Lake, Lake Tinaru. Um, this is the dam. We were hoping to get some footage around the other side of it actually. The lake goes for a really long way, but the footage around the other side of the lake was really cool because it had all the, there was lots of trees in the lake and stuff, but uh, we can't walk out onto the dam. You can only walk up to this gate, but we'll go and have a bit of a look. Um, we were just noticing the smell of the, um, burnt bush around and then we look over here and there's something going on because they've got the choppers out what and a great spillway down there from the from the lake so i'll find out a little bit about this um catchment area and see where it goes that's a lot of water coming out So there's a few campsites around this lake, about five I think. Um, over the other side where you can see there, that actually looks like it's a, a, a school camp area or something. Um, and the campsites kind of are di directly ahead of us and to the left. You can actually see camp around this campsite over there as well. Um, the other side where we drove around was uh, not conducive to camping at all. It was really quite dense rainforest, but it's a nice scenic drive. Um, a little bit hairy in places. It's uh, narrow, narrow, very narrow. But yeah, so Lake Tinaru, cool spot to visit. Had a bit of a quiet afternoon. We've um, checked into the Atherton Tablelands Caravan Park, the NRMA one up here anyway, for a um, overnight stop. Might turn into more than one night. However, we've looked at the things to do around here. Um, Paul's just doing a few uh, adjustments. Do you want to tell us what happened? Um. <laughs> this happened. Oh dear. This is the first real casualty, isn't it? It's yeah. a trip. Only casualty, really. The only casualty. So, do you want to tell everyone how that happened? I don't know if we've talked about it yet. Yeah, yeah, no, it just um, bottomed out in a hole that was a bit bigger than I thought it was. Um, yeah, so, just cracked it and. It's been well, holding though, hey? It, yeah, but it's not ideal. No, just in case it gives way. Yeah. Um, so, that's all right. Yeah, I mean, 
would it have done any damage to the tow, no. tow bar if it wasn't on there? Did uh, it protect it? Don't know, who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's all fixed and sorted. We managed to pop into Cairns to get this today on our way up here, which was a bonus. I need it because I can't get in the car otherwise. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the job done. Um, I'm just getting some videos edited at the moment because I'm, I feel like I want to keep at least two ahead, but just working on some different things. And yeah, we're just basically chilling out. But this is a lovely caravan park. It's seriously nice and quiet and shaded. So yeah. Morning everyone. Um, we're in Atherton. We spent last night at the caravan park. Um, only intending to spend one night there and then we've looked at the few things that we want to see around here today and we thought oh, we'll stay another night because there's a few things that we'd like to see. We're heading off this morning to a place called Lungabara um, to some markets that are only on once a month and we just happen to score the day that they're on. Oh it's raining. What? It's really cloudy today. Um, this is the first rain we have officially seen since we left home. So um, yeah, I hope it's not going to be too wet. It's not forecast for rain, so that's interesting. Anyway, the younger borough market is supposed to be quite a big thing, and um, we're going to go and have a look at that, which is about 12 k's from where we are, and then we're going to look at a few other things around the place today. So stay tuned. Look at those clouds. these funny mounds. <laughs> We've arrived at Yungabara and the markets are next level. <laughs> We've just driven around town for oh, about 10 minutes trying to find somewhere to park and every single side street is blocked with cars everywhere. So must be a popular event. Yeah. So really looking forward to seeing what this place has to offer but I did notice there was a sign up for um, fest a festival as well so it might mm. be a double whammy this weekend I don't think it's that kind of festival <laughs> but it might be Woo, you. <laughs> who's playing you reckon? a music festival I don't think so Rufus? Mm. oh god yeah, yeah. Rufus. This place is happening, hey. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a better market. These gorgeous flowers, these are all along the street. There's cars everywhere. People everywhere. And all sorts of little things going on on the side as well. This is, um, I think you could say it's overwhelming. Um, there's so much to see around here, but there's so many people and so many cars that you just can't possibly absorb it, can you? And you don't know, we actually don't know where our car is at the moment, so we're just wandering around <laughs> looking for it. But I mean, look at these buildings. It's, it's, it's really, it really, yeah, is. it really is amazing.
So we've just walked past the pub. It's 10 o'clock and the pub's full. People are having beers at 10 a.m. What a place. <sighs> There's those guys. They're the ones that eat all our coconuts. This one's so wide. So we were just listening to one of the guides who was taking a tourist group around and she said that the um the root system on this tree has grown so wide that they've had to re um what do you call it restructure the boardwalk around it to make it uh, stable oh, it used to be closer oh yeah you can actually see the, the old pile on the bottoms down there yeah you can so they've had to build basically it's a long way out now out. hey yeah. This isn't just another fig, it's an absolute freak of nature and was formed when a host tree was strangled by a strangler fig which then grew vertical roots. The host tree eventually fell into the neighbouring tree causing the curtain to form. in here. It's very unusual, hey, it's um it's not stagnant either. It must have a source coming in somewhere. So we've decided to do the, well, I decided, <laughs> Paul just went along with it. Um, I think he's lost his mojo today. Have you? No, I'm good. He's good. This is um, the three kilometre. Is that right? What? Am I good? Yeah, 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 always. Um, the three kilometre loop around Lake Eacham. Um, it's really quite cool in here today, so it's a nice, um, nice walk. I don't think it's anything hectic, just to stroll through the rainforest. Um, yeah, it looks really nice. Apparently you can, opportunities for wildlife viewing. There are turtles in the lake and fish, and apparently there's a freshwater croc in there too, who apparently is timid. Um, plenty of people swimming, so he can't be that much of a threat. The water around this side of the lake is really blue. Um, around the other side it's a bit more churned up I think because that's where everyone's swimming but so far it's beautiful how's this for jungle monsters this actually looks like something out of a horror movie oh my god this is on the warp track around the lake towards um, Mount High Pippami. I think I said that right. Um, there's a crater and some waterfalls to see, hopefully. I think they're flowing. Most of the waterfalls around here seem to be doing that. Look at it. It's 
bit crazy cloudy. I think we're just in the clouds actually. We're that high up. Seems like it's um it did spit just then, didn't it? It was trying to rain. Yeah. But uh gosh, magical place. It's actually bloody nice to have a cool change, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Like it's been stinking hot pretty much ever since oh ever since we started this trip. Where are we? So we're here. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna go around here. Okay. And then we're gonna go up here. And around the back. And we're gonna swim back here. Swim. Yep. Beautiful. Let's go. Okay, Cassowary Central, let's do this. Another rainforest walk. We are clocking up those K's. Looking forward to this one. I have it in my mind as what I've seen in pictures. It's a bit like the Umphastone sinkhole in Mount Gambia. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but we'll have a look. Oh, it's actually chilly. What do you reckon? I think I've just cooled down from the last walk. Lots of sounds of that. Yeah, can't beat it. It's the best. A cracking fire or a running stream or pour. Yeah, the best. I reckon I could camp right next to that and still have a peaceful sleep. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Mm. Far out. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Gosh, it's not moving anywhere, is it? That water. So this is the top layer, we think, of Dinner Falls. This is dinner. <laughs> the other two were breakfast and lunch. This one's dinner. You can actually feel the breeze whistling through here. It's quite cool. I guess in the summer, this will be a nice swimming hole. Not so much at the moment. Wow, there's so much water. And also considering they've just come to the end of the dry season so but this water does come from the barren river which is massive um this is probably i reckon this is probably one of my favorites so far day. yeah it's um it's been a much cooler day um it's hasn't been inaccessible it's been oh there's a bit of clambering and a bit of kind of tricky bits to negotiate but nothing too stressful um and there's three different parts to it. So, yeah, I really rate this one. This one's called Dinner Falls. So if you're up um, the Atherton Way, recommend it. The crater was nice, but a bit stagnant. Um, but, I mean, marvellous. Um, it probably just needs a bit of fresh water in it. I wonder it. where the water flows in for that one. Probably doesn't. It's probably been sitting there since only the rain. 
<laughs> I don't think it flows in, it's stagnant. So, but I guess once the rainy season starts, it might yeah, generate yeah. something, I don't know. But yeah, cool, very, very interesting. And um, yeah, are we done for today? Or are we gonna do That's more? Right. We'll check around and see what's Let's around. See. Ticked mm. everything off at today's list, hasn't it? Uh, there's one more waterfall, but I'm not sure how far yeah. away it is. It's called Halls Falls. So I'll have a look and see. We might go there if it's close by. If not, we'll probably head back to Caravan Park and um, just chill for a bit. We are at Hasty's Swamp, yes you heard it, Swamp, and we are going into a bird hide to see if we can see some birds. Are we going up? Yep. Actually we're not going in, oh, we're going story, up mate. the ladder. All right, avid bird watchers that we are, we thought we would, uh, oh this was on recommendation, here we are. All right. Actually quite beautiful up here. Spot the difference, there's a brolga. Yeah, I know what they look like. We hit one of those in the yeah. car. It wasn't one right. splattered on my bulba. There's a pelican over there. All right. This is very cool. It's a two-story wooden building. And this is a national park, by the way. Um, and apparently, oh, they're all over there. Look at them on the other side. Oh. There's hundreds of them, look. Look over there. Paul's getting in tune with his uh, bird, bird inner bird watching information board over there. <laughs> so there's two levels, um, different bird information on each level. The only ones I recognise are pelicans, but there's, I, there's hundreds of them over there. I wish I knew what they were. I'm sure they're ducks of some kind. Beautiful, absolutely. Love it. What? You can't go on the edge. No, there's a truck here. Oh God, is he moving? I don't know. Yeah, Just he's moving. Towards us. Yeah. Oh. Thanks again for watching and supporting our channel. Please like, share and subscribe to keep up with our Big Oz adventure. If you're keen to watch some more of our other trip episodes, here's some links. Thanks again. Cheers.